Welcome back to the training facility at Bevler USA. Today we're going to go over the instructions on how to operate a UZ-30 stationary bevel machine. The capacity of the machine is um, uh, 0.10 inches to 4 inches and the feed rate on the machine is 2 feet to 11 feet per minute. The typical use for this machine is for small parts and uh, production of beveling of small parts. Now we'll go over some of the features of the machine. Starting with the bottom, we have a chip tray to collect chips to keep your uh, workspace clean. We'll open up the machine to see how the cutter head is adjusted. And rotate the drive assembly out of the way. Lift the table up and we have, now we have access to the cutter head. The cutter head is just mounted directly on the shaft of the motor, can easily be easily replaced. To adjust your angle, the simple lever on the side of the machine can adjust from 30 degrees all the way to 60 degrees and you can see that the motor and the cutter head are now tilted to the appropriate angle. Here we have a set of gauges that comes with the machine. These are used to set the machine to the appropriate angle and uh, bevel that you want to do on your workpiece. You can see we have 60 degree and 30 degree showing here. Uh, there's a number of gauges, they're two-sided. Uh, we've determined that we need to do a 45 degree bevel on this machine, so we will go to the 45 degree gauge. So now we found our, our gauge for 45 degrees. If you look on the gauge, the A, which is the height of the bevel, the maximum is 14.1 millimeter. So if you look on the gauge, it's the lines are indicated as two millimeter spacing. So it's two, four, six. This is the maximum, again, the maximum bevel the machine is capable of. So if we're going to do the max bevel on our material, we have to do it in three passes. These lines indicate the first pass, second pass, third pass, and in a moment we'll show how these lines are used to adjust the machine. Um, you're wondering maybe the clip on the, uh, why this clip or this angle is here on the gauge, that again, that just indicates what the maximum bevel is, 14. So it's a visual indication. But the important steps are we use these lines to set our maximum steps per pass. Okay, now we'll set our first pass and we'll adjust the machine uh, to do the first pass on a 45 degree bevel. Now if you look at the gauge, we have it set on the, uh, the flat guide plate, the material uh, plate that material rides on. And we have the back against vertical guide plate. You'll notice the gauge here, there's a large zero with, a, with an indicator line. So what we need to do is, our first pass maximum is this dotted line. So we need to line up both of those lines and that'll give us our first pass. It's very easy and very simple on this machine to set. You just turn the knob, and you can see the vertical fence backs off. Now we've lined up the two lines, the zero line and your first pass mark. Okay, before we get into uh, actually doing the bevel on the plate, there's a couple other things that I'd like to go over. Your feed drive or your drive mechanism assembly uh, is factory set. behind the drive wheel. 
You also have the ability to adjust the pitch of the drive wheel to make sure it holds the material close to the fence as it's driving the material through. You also have the ability to uh, uh, add a, a pipe accessory that you can bevel the pipe. And uh, the, the uh, drive mechanism would need to be moved uh, from left to right or right to left, determining on, depending on which application you're using. So those are the variables that drive assembly can be adjusted to. And we'll go over the controls on the control panel for the machine. We have main switch, we have a power indicator light, we have the second emergency stop, just like the one that's on the uh, drive, drive assembly. We have the on-off switch for the drive assembly, and we have an on-off switch for the cutter head. For adjusting speed on the cutter head, we have a dial indicator here. We recommend from 4500 to 5500 for mild steel. For products like brass or aluminum, non-ferrous material, we recommend from 1500 to 2500. Um, as you do your applications, you'll get a better feel for uh, the quality of the bevel as you get used to running the machine. Another important point of the machine is the speed, your feed rate, and we'll go over that in a minute. Here we'll turn the machine on and we'll adjust the cutter head speed and you can hear the difference.
done our first pass, and if that's adequate for your application, then we don't need to go any further. If you still need to make the bevel higher um, or a larger bevel, then we need to reset the machine for the second pass. It's important that you never go beyond the uh, dotted line on your passes. So in this case, if we wanted to do the maximum second pass, we would adjust again. questions. Again, my name is Artie Leopold, I'm your technical support and technical sales for Beveler USA.